Well, I'm very pleased to be joined by Taizo Shigatani from Jap Japan. He's here in China competing, you said, for the first time in a five-star class on mainland China. That's correct. What does it mean to China to have these top-class horses, world-class riders on the mainland? Well, it's, it's very rare to have five-star shows in, in the eastern part. And I hope in the future we have more, more opportunity to, to have five-star shows. What's the standard of equestrian in Japan and China? Because all right, you've obviously competed at multiple Olympic Games and World Championships, uh, but it's, you're very much forced to base, be based over in Europe. Yes, in Japan we have up to World Cup uh, classes. However, the level is still, still far to the top. And again, in, and it would be similar in China, the, the top riders uh, having to be based over in Europe? That's correct. We need to be based in Europe or America, otherwise we're far, uh, far behind. So it's important, obviously, to have competitions like this over in Asia to, to showcase the sport at the top level? That's correct. For, for us, the riders, for the public, for the sponsors, the owners, it, it, you know, it boosts up everything. How pleased are you personally to be here in China to, to have your horses and to be competing? Well, I flew my horses from Germany, but it's, it's a great honor to, to be here uh, to compete as, as one of the Japanese and Asian. It's um, obviously still a, a plane ride to get here from Japan, but have you managed to have some sort of home support? Have you, has your, is your family coming over here to support you? I have my sponsors and owners coming to, to watch. And what have you made of the facilities and the setup here in Shanghai? It's unbelievable. Well, well built. I mean, thanks to Jan Tops, he did a great job for the sports. And the crowd, uh, it's obviously a sport that's new to them, but it's, um, the Chinese public are very enthusiastic about sports, so hopefully we'll, we'll see a good turnout, would you say? Yes, this is a good start for, for everybody, especially our, us, the Asians, and I hope this grows up more and more. So tell me about the horses that you've got here this week. I have 11 years old stallion by, uh, by Cassini. He's starting to do 150 classes. And my other one is Aventio. He's already 16, but in top form. So he's been there and thereabouts. He's been all over the world and to, to top class competitions. Uh, what are your hopes then heading into the Grand Prix, the, the big class of the week? Well, you know, we know we all want to be in the top three and uh, especially in, in Asian land, you know, I would really uh, do my best and try to be in top three. You've um, had a look, I'm sure, at the, at the, the, the list of competitors here. It's, um, it's, it's right up there with the Olympics and World Championships, the, the other competitors here, the, here this week. Yeah, it's the same level as Olympics and World Championships, so let's hope we do well. Well, all the best and thank you very much for talking to us and I hope you enjoy the week and, and have all the luck. Thank you very much.